Hello and welcome, my name is Firestarter and this is Cryostatis. Now this is a game that was originally released in 2009, so it's actually around about 6 years old. Maybe a little bit more than that, I'm not quite sure when in 2009 it was released. It's a game that I've been told I should play, but I've never gotten around to playing, so I thought, what the hell, let's play it, let's record it, and let's see if it's fun or not. So let's jump in there, let's get it going. New game, yes. My story is comfortless. It isn't sweet or happy as fictional stories are. It has shades of senselessness and confusion, of madness and dreams, like the lives of those people who no longer delude themselves. sides by impenetrable forests, and on the fourth by the steppe. They were a strong, brave, and cheerful people. But evil times came upon them. Other tribes came warring against them, and drove them into the depths of the forest. The forest was dark and swampy, for it was very ancient and the boughs of the trees were so closely interwoven that they shut out the view of the sky, and the sun's rays did all they could to pierce the thick foliage and reach the waters of the swamp. And wherever they reached those waters, poisonous vapours arose, and the people began to get sick and die. They had to get out of the forest, but there were only two ways. One was to go back over the road they'd come, but at the end of it, strong and vicious foes awaited them. The other was to push forward through the forest, but there they'd encounter the giant trees, whose mighty branches were closely entwined, and whose gnarled roots were sunk deep into the mire of the bogs. They were a brave people, and they would have fought to the death with those who had once defeated them, had they not feared being wiped out in the fight. They had their forefathers' behests to defend, and if they perished, their behests would perish with them. So they sat, pondering their fate through the long nights, with the poisonous vapours rising around them, and the forest singing its mournful song and the shadows of the fires leaped about them in a soundless dance, and it seemed as if it weren't mere shadows dancing, but the evil spirits of forest and bog celebrating their triumph. Okay, so I'm now actually in game. So, from that cutscene, I'm wondering, are we one of that tribe? Do we need to escape? And where am I actually going? Can't get up there. Maybe somewhere down here? Ah, this hatch looks alright. Press right, right mouse button to open the hatch. Okay. Oh. A bit jumpy. Let's get in here. So I believe this is supposed to be a psychological horror. I'm not sure if there's going to be many jump scares in it. Hopefully not. I'm not very good at dealing with uh, horror games usually. Oh, 
Okay, so we've got a flashlight. You can toggle that with F. Okay. Does that have a battery on it at all? It's a very cold place, really, isn't it? I wouldn't necessarily want to live here. Not very homely. Have we still got the flashlight on? No, it's gone off. So I can't go up there. There's another door over there. Can I get to that hatch at all? No. Right, let's go through this other door then. Or get whacked around by the door. No, come open. Right, get out of the way of the door so we don't get whacked around. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, so what's this all about? Is that his heart that's red? Oh. Are we seeing what happened to him? Is that where he fell from? And he landed here? If so, where's his body? Surely in a place this cold it'd be frozen and not decomposed. And how long ago was that? Uh, you can run by holding shift button, but watch the yellow indicator. Shows your stamina. Okay. Does that mean I'm going to have to run away from something? Oh! Yeah, so what happened there then? Oh. That's it. Get closer or something. Did I just wait for something to happen? I don't quite see what I'm supposed to be doing. Come on, do some of that. Oh, I just have to get closer. Makes sense. Oh. So there was some sort of earthquake or something? And the ice started splitting. Oh, I'm on the other side. How did that happen? Well, that was weird. You are still too weak for anything but a short sprint. With time, you will gain more stamina and you'll get tired less and recover faster. So you progressively get more stamina by the sound of things. This place is a bit of a dump. Have I come the right way? Ah, there's a door here. It's just a dead end that way. So are we going this way? Get out of my way. There we go. Oh, something's happening. Well, that's a bit of a weird place to uh, to die. Just stood up. I can look around in this cutscene. I didn't realise that until towards the end of the last one. It's 
So it looks as though the earthquake has already happened. The ice is already jutting out of the floor. What the hell is that? Is that a ship? Where? I don't... Oh dear, there we go. So we've been moved to the other side again. Yeah, it looks like this is possibly in the North Pole or something like that. It's definitely somewhere really, really cold anyway. It's not somewhere I'd want to go on holiday, I know that much. So we're we going down there. That's where he fell to by the looks of things. So what are you going to show us? I'm actually in control this time. So am I seeing what he did? Am I reliving it? And I did notice that that coat didn't have an actual head in it. So what's this? Alexander oh. Nesterov, a junior research assistant at the Pole 21 Polar Station, is due at coordinates 86 degrees 21 north, 74 degrees 57 east, on the 27th of March 1981, where he will board the nuclear icebreaker North Wind. Is that us? I've actually forgot the name already. Oh, I forgot I could sprint. Right, where am I going? Where's that dog? There it is. Let's follow the dog. Oh! Oh, no. Let's not do that. Um, yep. Yeah, let's try that again. Yeah, and as you can see, there's not actually a head in that coat. Can I skip that? Yeah, I don't really know if I need to actually read it or not. Is due at coordinates 86 degrees 21 north, 74 degrees 57 east on the 27th of March 1981. But he will board the nuclear icebreaker North Wind. Right, how do I get over this bit then? Jump. Oh, it pushed me to one side then. Right. Let's attempt to do this without absolutely failing at it. Alexander Nesterov, a junior research assistant at the Pole 21 Polar Station, is due at coordinates 86 degrees 21 north, 74 degrees 57 east, on the 27th of March 1981, where he will board the nuclear icebreaker North Wind. Oh, and the dog's got further away. How do I get up there? Can I just jump up this wall? No. This sprint isn't very fast. And it's very difficult to make anything out. It's so... I don't know the word I'm looking for. Saturated is coming to mind, but I don't think that's the, the right word. But it's very, very bright and difficult to see where I'm supposed to be going. What am I stuck on? Am 
Now, I'm actually sprinting, but it just doesn't move very fast, and it feels as though the wind is actually blowing me. What felt that? Yeah, the wind is actually blowing me to, to the sides. Where am I going here? Up here? So do I need to jump onto there? From what I've got of the jumping mechanics so far, I'm not actually so sure I'm going to be able to make this, but we'll try. Oh, there we go. And um, what's this? Oh. Actually took us back. But that didn't actually let us know how this got to the person being dead here. If it was actually a person. Hmm. Confusing. Hopefully it'll all make a bit more sense in the future. Right. Through this door. Did I take damage then? Crouch through here. Anything I can steal? No. And that's where we were a moment ago. So it looks as though I need to pull that lever. What? My god, you're ugly. I came over here because I thought his head might have been in there. What was he going to pick up then? His hand came out. I uh, no idea what that is. Right, I can't get past him, by the looks of it. Can I? Jump over? No. So, do I need to go back the way I came? Oh. Oh, there's two of them. How is it going? The cans are in place. No sign yet. Sit down. Warm up while it burns. I've brought two more crates to dry. Sit down. Warm up while it burns. To get warm, press and hold the right mouse button key. Ah, oh, that's doing something on my hood in the bottom left hand side. Oh, what the hell? What the hell happened there? So by the looks of it, from that cutscene, whoever was in this, it looks like a ship to me, now that I think about it. And there was a ship mentioned while we were walking through the outside a moment ago. So... By the looks of it, they came into some sort of trouble, and they were trying to keep warm. There was no power. But who was that guy that was throwing stuff? He didn't look 100% human to me. Do I need to go back in here now, then? Everywhere else seems to be blocked off. What? I haven't got anything to hit him with. Run!
To get the lock and chain, press the right mouse key. What? Where did he go? Hmm. So what was that all about? Break the boards with your fist. Press the left mouse key. Why are you hitting them without, with the fist without the padlock? Why do I get the feeling these are going to fall on my head? Oh no, they didn't. Oh. Oh no, he's dead. Oh crap! Have some of that! There you go, have some of that. Have some of that. Have it! Have it! Have it! Have it! Yeah, there you go. So select the end you strike with and direct the strikes, hold the movement keys. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, right, I see. Okay, okay. Can I loot you at all? Can I get anything? No? Let's have a proper look at him. So he's some sort of zombie, by the looks of it. Can't quite see his face. It's wrapped up, but it, it doesn't it doesn't look alive. He can't be alive. Look at that in his stomach. Can I do anything? Turn the lights on. Oh, wrong button. Oh, so you can warm up on uh, the light bulbs. Watch the internal scale of the thermometer while warming up. So if that gets down to the very bottom, I quickly jumped back there because I was expecting there to be something on the other side of that door as soon as I walked through it. If that gets down to zero, does something bad happen? Do we die? So this ship sunk by the looks of it. The last two people have been trying to stop water from falling through. I could hear you. Oh no, 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 stop hitting me. Don't you hit me! Hold the right mouse button to block. Yeah, it'd been helpful to know that before I started fighting people. Can't open that. Can I warm myself up on you? I can. You can raise your temperature to the exterior temperature level by pressing the right mouse button key. Oh! So I presume we're going up here? Yeah, take that, ice. Oh! Get out of it! You stupid bugger. This game and your jump scares. I don't like jump scares. Don't you dare jump out on me, because you'll get your ass kicked if you do, you bastard! To start a combo, hold two of the movement keys simultaneously. Ah, right, okay. That'll be useful. Let's try it out on him. Yeah, take that, you bugger. You jump out of there, did you? Right. I'll be keeping my eye open for more of the th them in the corner then. What did I ever do to you, eh? Yeah, take that. Don't want no zombies jumping out of you. 
knowing this so far, there'll be some sort of zombie flies in there. And this looks like there's probably a pool full of the bastards underneath it. So yeah, the ship did flood. But if it's so cold, were they here in summer? Were before the the uh, the water iced over? Don't forget to keep warm by using the heat sources. Warmth is the only source of your in-game health. Oh, okay. So that that is our actual health. So does that deteriorate over time as well? as when you're fighting enemies. So I'm up to full health. I don't know why, but I quite enjoy punching that ice. Are you going to get another flash back as soon as we get in here? No. Oh, get out of it, you bastard. Hey, do a combo. Do a combo. Trying to do a combo. Yes, I kicked your ass. Get down there and stay down. Can I go back through there and top up my health? This sprint is absolutely crap. Barely sprints at all. No, that's locked on us. Uh, actually doesn't seem to be making much difference at all to my speed, unless my stamina is running out so fast that it's barely uh, noticeable. Or should I say that I'm sprinting for such a short amount of time that it's not worth doing. Well, that doesn't look freaky in the slightest. What was that? Right, come on, what have you got to show me? You can save this man's life. Press right mouse button key to initiate your mental echo ability. It will let you into his past where you can do something or another. I was too slow at reading it to figure out exactly what was happening. So I can save his life. Through the door and up the stairs, quickly. It won't hold much longer. Through the door and up the stairs. What stairs? It won't let me out. Oh, oh, up the steps. Up the steps, go up. Go, 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 go. Which way am I going? Round here. Come on, we've got a man's life to save. Whoa! Where am I going? Round this way. I've not got an actual clue what is going on so far. I just seem to be jumping around in time. Right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Have I saved your life yet? Success, you saved the dead man's soul and, and improved yourself a little. You have a dark road ahead of you where you will find many more opportunities to help people. That text doesn't seem to stay up very long. Is this the door I was at before? How many zombie motherfuckers are in you then? Where am I going? There's a door around there. Oh, who are you? Is that me? It is.
Captain, the rod shows formation of sea ice all along our course. The rod, as in the divining rod? Another clairvoyant gadget of yours. Sir, clairvoyance is for shamans. This is cutting-edge scientific equipment, virtually foolproof. Do you know why it is called the rod? Well, yeah, you had it, sir. Named after a divining rod, a stick used to search for water underground. Was real popular back in the days of wooden ships and navigating under the stars. Times change, but some things remain much the same. The ship must respect you. You must listen to her, understand her, talk to her, live with her one-on-one -on -one for many years. Then you become more than just a captain. You become a part of something bigger. That's great, but isn't it just pretty words? Sir, it seems to me all you've got to do is hold on to the wheel. When are you going to let me drive, by the way? You don't waste any time, do you? Well, if you're keen, try this for now. <laughs> Have fun sailing that. Yeah, so I am not actually 100% sure what's going on in this game so far. It seems as though we're investigating some sort of disaster that happened on a ship, but we have some sort of psychic power to be able to see into the past and save people's souls from the fate that befell them. I don't know if that actually keeps them alive in real time or if it just saves their souls. I'm presuming that we save their lives. But we'll find out more about this game in the next episode. I'm going to call it here for now. Please let me know in the comments what you think of the game. And uh, if you've played it before, how much you enjoyed it. But for now, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.